Hey and welcome to Notion for Teachers. My name's Andrew and it's my mission to support you in building and maintaining your system in Notion so you're able to improve the, 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 the education you're delivering to your students whilst also minimizing your unnecessary admin. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos at least once a week. So how many times have you absconded that student who's doing something that they definitely shouldn't be doing and you've said to them, right, what house are you in? And the student will say, or what year are you in? Or what tutor group are you in? Whatever the relevant group that that student is a member of and you need to get in contact with that house parent or that foreign tutor and it's taken you ages to keep you to put, put a note in your piece of paper or a note in your phone and then go back to your desk later, find the right email addresses, or maybe you don't know who the form tutor is, or maybe you don't know what house, who the, the house parent is, who lots of houses in your school. Well, Notion can really help with this because Notion has a way that in a database, whenever you have an email listed in a database, Notion has a one button that you can click, which opens up a brand new, fresh email, automatically inserts the relevant email addresses in there, and you can then have that email typed and gone within a couple of seconds. It's one less thing on your list. In fact, it never makes it onto your to-do list. It's, it's on it and it's gone straight away. And you are moving on to the next more um, next thing you've got to do. We can add more value. So let's hop into Notion now and I'll show you exactly how I set this up. Okay, so here we are in our Notion window. Um, however we wish to organize it, um, we will probably want to create a page and we will call this page houses codes parents doesn't really matter whatever you whatever works for you really first thing when i come into a page normally make it full width just so i get the full value for that and we're going to want to create a little table in here okay so the first thing i'll be putting in here will be my uh codes whatever code each house is known by and obviously keeping on the old harry potter theme uh, we call these houses g h r and s okay cool so that's your house codes um house name i will probably do this as a, a relation to my stakeholders Okay, great, so these are... I'm gonna do this as a relation to my stakeholders just so that I have a way of pulling everything relating to that house together. Because <clears throat> it might be nice someday to be able to pull up a house, one of the school houses, and just be able to look and see all the information that we've got relating to that house. So these are actual houses. Okay, so we'll create a Gryffindor house in there. Um, we'll say house. Puff. Okay. Hey. Cool. And I normally go straight into this stage. I don't really want to see everything that's written against each of those rows, so I'll just unwrap them. Okay, and now I can just. I don't want to have too much height in the rows of my table. So uh, then the real, the really nice bit for me, right? So we can go in here and we can say, right, I want to set this up in such a way that. I can very quickly go in here and send an email to the head of house for, say, Gryffindor, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new property, come down here, and I'm going to go to email, all right? And we will say, right, so Minerva dot C-C-G-U-M-A, or whatever the email address happens to be, at hogwarts.com. Okay, maybe there's two. Someone got else at 
by separating those with a semicolon there, we will be able to send the email to both. Okay, and we can fill in the rest of those, um, rest of those cells with the other house parent email addresses. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. So, house parent or head of house email. Right, so I'm going to have that full column populated. Okay. Okay, so I've caught a student doing something that they shouldn't be doing. I said, right, what house are you in? The student will say, oh, I'm in Gryffindor, sir. Okay, I'll say, all right, right, we'll be hearing from your house parent later. And I can come into this page in Notion and very quickly just hover over this little at symbol, which if we've set the property up as a, an email, you'd be offered this at symbol in each of the rows where you've actually put in the email address. I'll be able to hit, right, send email. And straight away, there it goes, up pops. Uh, a new fresh email with the um, email address, the relevant email address is already dropped in there. And we can then click uh, Harry Miss B. Bye bye. You get the idea. Value for me and being able to very, very quickly find out what house they're in, come in, hit that button, emails created, t email type, it's gone, it's off my plate. Very, very quickly, Notion has facilitated me again to be able to just uh, leverage that, uh, as automate it as much as I possibly can uh, and get um, the admin done as quickly as possible because there's very little value to add at, that, at this stage. So just get the emails cracked out as quickly as you possibly can. And the okay, it's a little bit of faff getting it set up at the start, typing in the email addresses. But once it's there, you are saving a couple of minutes every single time, especially if you don't readily know what that, who it is, and or who the house parent is. You can just come in here and just click it, and the email's gone before you even think of it. Okay, it's one last thing on your plate. Okay, so I hope that was useful. I hope you can just see a very very small thing that Notion can do. But it's one last thing, can just keep those, those to-do lists nice and low whilst also giving the impression to everyone else that we're absolutely on top of everything. Oh, Miss, Mr. Smith or Mr. Jones or whoever it is, he's, uh, he's always emailing me, he's keeping me on top of the students, keeping me informed of what my tutor group or my, uh, my house students are up to. Um, whilst and we're not taking on any extra burden because our to-do lists are aren't getting, we're not building these big to-do lists full of emails we've got to send. So all that was really useful. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos at least every week. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. Thank you very, very much for hitting play and sticking with me to this point. Uh, drop any comments in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much and see you again soon.